I'm glad I found you, man, because it's like, it's 10 o'clock in the morning, it's like bright and sunny out, and I saw, in the sky, the moon, the moon's out, and it's daytime, and it's freaking me out! Don't worry about it, you can see the moon lots of times during the day. Really? Yeah. I thought it like went away during the day, right? Like it only comes out at night, and, no? No. Can, can you explain how that actually sure. works? Because I'm really kind of freaking out, I got okay, this let's, whole let's go to the heart concert. thing that's been really bugging me, so. So here we are in uh, in Vancouver, and it's a glorious sunny day, as you can see by the uh, the sun that we have here, which is a well, it's a light bulb. But remember, you're going to explain to me why we can sometimes see the moon in the daytime, and uh, we'll also talk about some of the other phases phases of the moon. So let's say it's today, uh, the sun is shining. We're here in Vancouver. Um, so how how do I see this moon? It's it hasn't set yet. The moon has its own timetable on which it rises and sets, depending on and the phases of the month and during the month. So yeah, so the sun's still hitting that and we're seeing quite a bit of that and it just hasn't quite hasn't quite set below the horizon. Yeah. So that's why we're able to see it during the during the daytime. Exactly. Okay. And then so what about some of the other uh, phases of the moon or or like a solar So the solar eclipse. Solar eclipse, yeah. So that only happens when you have a no a new moon. Okay. So when you have no moon at night. You get a solar eclipse when the moon actually gets in line with the sun and the earth. And it's creating and it's casting a shadow, exactly. say for us here in Vancouver. So it's still daytime, the sun is out, but we get this moon blocking and creating this big shadow. But it only hits a certain part of the a certain parts of the earth. For example, here in the Pacific Ocean. And that's one of the reasons why when we talk about uh, a solar eclipse that is only visible from certain areas uh, in the world, not everybody can see the same one at the same time. Exactly. And I guess a lot of that has to do with the fact that the moon's just really not that big. Um, yeah. And its position isn't going to block out the entire light reaching, uh, exactly. reaching the Earth. So on the other end, if you have a full moon, the moon is at the opposite end. So oh, now okay. the sun is shining fully on it. Fully on it, and we're actually able to see a nice, full, bright moon because the sun, uh, the sun's hitting it. It's night where we are, and we're able to get that nice, full, uh, uh, brilliant moon. But if it was in the Earth's shadow, you'd get a lunar eclipse. A lunar eclipse. So we're supposed to be able to see it, but we can't because of the, the shadow that the Earth is casting. Exactly. Thank you. Um, so really, I shouldn't really be freaking out because I can see the moon in the daytime and I'm gonna have to explain to my parents because I phoned them too, so I was really worried about it. Uh, but uh, as Reminder has said, there's really nothing to worry about. It just has to do with the phases of the moon and the shadows that are, uh, that are cast by it. So uh, rest easy, everything's gonna be okay. For The Express at the HR McMillan Space Center, I'm Cam Cronin. I'm Reminder Samra. And may all your moons be full that are celestial. Seconds.